This short video is about one of the reactions we need to study about alcohols and it's the dehydration reaction. So that's obviously the removal of water. So basically if you react an alcohol with concentrated H3PO4, so that's concentrated phosphoric acid, that will remove the water from the alcohol so you create an alkene and water. So essentially to make water we need the oxygen and two hydrogens to create an alkene. So I'll just show you that now with the model kits. So I'm going to show you an example using ethanol. So here's the ethanol molecule here and obviously water is made from an oxygen and two hydrogens. Now the rule is you remove the second hydrogen from the carbon adjacent to the OH carbon. So to make water we need an oxygen and two hydrogens. So the OH comes off, that second hydrogen comes from this carbon here. And so there you can see the models of the products there. And I've written on the arrow there, little c, concentrated, H3PO4. So that is essentially the dehydrating agent. And there's the chemical equation. Now because we've started out with um, this one starting material and created two molecules, one of which is a much smaller molecule, we call this an elimination reaction. And that's essentially because a smaller molecule, this water molecule, has been eliminated from the starting molecule. So the dehydration of alcohols is classed as an elimination reaction. So we're going to look at a slightly more complicated alcohol. Um, I've put butan 1 ol on the board there. But if you just apply that simple rule that I've just mentioned, it's very, very straightforward. So remember, we are reacting this with concentrated phosphoric acid. That's going to remove water from the alcohol. So we need to take the OH out and the only available car carbon to remove a hydrogen from is this one here. And so we get rid of either this one or this one. And that means that our double bond will form here. And so obviously we're going to make butuanine and water. There's the chemical equation. And again you can see we've started out with this one molecule here. We've created two products. We've made a small water molecule which has essentially been eliminated from the, the alcohol. So again, this is an elimination reaction. Now, whenever you create an alkene as a product of a reaction, it's always a good idea to double check whether or not EZI isomerism is going to be possible. So we'll just do a quick check. There's the carbon-carbon double bond. On this carbon here, we have a hydrogen and an ethyl group, so they're different. Let's go to the next carbon in the double bond. We have two hydrogens. They're exactly the same as each other. And so EZ is not possible with this alkene. And so butuanine and water are the only possible products. You'll see why that's important when we look at the next example. So I've moved the hydroxyl group to the second carbon. So this is now butan 2 ol And again, we're going to imagine that it's in the presence of concentrated phosphoric acid. That's going to remove water. And we're going to look at which possible alkenes could form. So remember, the OH group has to go and a hydrogen from an adjacent carbon. Now, in butan 2 ol we've got two adjacent carbons to the hydroxyl carbon. So the first carbon I'm going to look at is this one here. And so I'm going to remove one of these hydrogens and create the alkene. 
So they're the products. So we've taken one of these hydrogens from this end carbon and the double bonds formed there. We've eliminated the water molecule. So butuanine is one of the possible products of this reaction. And I've just explained that EZ is not possible with butuanine because of these two hydrogens on one of the carbons in the double bond. So butuanine is product number one. So we can see that another possible product would be obviously the removal of the OH group and we're going to take one of these hydrogens now because this carbon is also adjacent to the hydroxyl carbon and so the double bond would form here now instead of there and we would create this alkene and this is obviously 1, 2, 3, 4 but, 1, 2, but, 2 ene and there's the eliminated water molecule. So again, whenever you make an alkene, you must double check, is EZ possible? So this carbon here has a hydrogen and a methyl group, so they're different. This carbon in the double bond has a hydrogen and a methyl group, so they're different. And so EZ is now possible. So is this the E form or the Z form? Remember, priority groups on each carbon of the double bond. Hydrogen versus methyl. So methyl is priority on this carbon. This carbon, well obviously it's this methyl group here. These are on the same side of the double bond. They're both pointing down. And remember the German word for the same or together is zusammen. So this is the Z form of the isomer. So we've made Z but 2 -ene. And of course, if Z but 2 -ene was possible, then all I've done is swapped the methyl and the hydrogens around. And I've created E but 2 -ene, where the priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond. So the methyl is pointing down on this one, and it's pointing up on this one. We're going to finish off by looking at um, an example that's more like what you'd see on an exam paper. I've drawn up um, an alcohol here. This is a cyclic alcohol and it's skeletal formula, very commonly used in exams. And you can see from the equation, or the, the beginning of the equation, that we have the alcohol and it's going to be reacted with concentrated phosphoric acid. So straight away you should be thinking that's going to dehydrate the alcohol. We're going to remove water. We need to take the OH off and another H. I've added a little bit of extra detail to help us to process the question. Remember the rule is the hydrogen that combines with the OH group that comes off has to be taken from an adjacent carbon. So I've drawn these two up here. This carbon is obviously adjacent to this carbon. So is that one, but it doesn't matter which one we take it from. So I've gone for this one. So essentially, we're going to take that OH group and we'll go for that hydrogen. And of course, our double bond will form here. You can see the products now have been drawn. The alkene produced is this one here, and obviously there's the water molecule. The alcohol that we've dehydrated is a cyclic compound, so it's cyclo. There are five carbons in that ring, so it's cyclopentanol, and the alkene that's been produced is again a cyclic alkene, so it's cyclo five carbons, one double bond, so it's cyclopentene. And just a reminder there for you that this is a, an example of an elimination reaction due to the removal of a small molecule, and in this case it's water.